Induction Cooktop vs. Electric If you've heard of induction cooking, you're probably interested in learning more about the differences between induction cooktops and electric cooktops. So, let's go. Number 1. Electric Cooktop The first electric stove ran a current through large iron plates which then transferred heat to pots and pans. Many years later, coil replaced the iron plates and cookware was kept directly on top. With time manufacturers placed glass ceramic on top of electric burners. This created a flat cooking surface. Number 2. Induction Cooktop In induction cooktop, heat is generated in the cookware itself, not in the heating element. And in essence, this is the biggest difference between an induction cooktop and an electric cooktop. Number 3. How do electric cooktops work? Electric cooktops offer a centralized heat for your pots and pans. Underneath the surface of the glass, or ceramic, you will find that there is an electrical current that flows through a metal coil. This coil becomes hot and glowing thanks to electrical resistance. It can then transfer its heat through the glass, or ceramic, using infrared energy. Number 4. How do induction cooktops work? Induction cooktops are electric since they don't use gas or another flame to heat. However, what sets them apart from regular electric cooktops is the manner in which they heat. Induction cooktops are quite different from the electric option. They, too, provide heat through coils underneath the surface. However, they use copper coils. Induction heating occurs using electromagnetic radiation. C. Induction cooking uses magnets to distribute heat. A current of electricity alternates as it passes through the copper coil and directly to the cookware. The result is a magnetic field that oscillates, inducing an electrical current in the pan or pot. The result is that the pot or pan begins heating. And in turn, your food begins to cook. Number 5. Advantages of Electric Cooktops Sometimes there is just something to be said about old tried and true methods of cooking. That includes using an electric cooktop. They have been around for many years and they are the cooktops that most of us are most comfortable cooking on. Number 6. Disadvantages of Electric Cooktops of course, with everything good, there must also be a downside. Electric cooktops have a lot of advantages, but they are not for everyone. In fact, some people are quick to point out their disadvantages. When it comes to an electric cooktop and an induction cooktop, the choice is yours. Yes, it depends on your preference and your priorities. If you aren't into change, no matter how much better the change can be, then stick with an electric cooktop. But, if you are looking for a cooktop that will provide you with fast and even heating, reduce energy costs and increased safety thanks to a cool surface, then an induction cooktop is just for you.